Have you ever deleted a file from your computer and regretted it later? Or have you ever deleted an important file accidentally from your computer and paid the consequences? Well, I did, but you know what? You don't worry, you got this. Maybe you still have hope. Maybe you can still recover these deleted files from your computer. To know how, watch this video until the end. So think of your computer as your brain. For example, let's say you're thinking about some memory or incident that has happened in your life, uh, but you don't want to think about it, but still you're thinking about it. So you want to stop thinking about that uh, memory. So what you do is you think about something else, some other memory from your life. In that way, you can stop thinking about the memory that you don't want to think about. But notice here that since you have stopped thinking about that particular memory which you don't want to think about it doesn't mean that you actually forgot about that memory that memory still exists in your brain and you will still be able to think about that memory if you want to you're just not thinking about it because you don't want to but you can think about it it still exists in your brain same is the case with computers computers are exactly the same when you delete something from your computer uh, your computer doesn't instantly forget that file. That file, that permanently deleted file still exists on your computer. But when you delete that file, your computer removes the reference to that file so that you will not be able to see that file or access it from your computer. But the file still exists. It still exists on your computer storage. Well, how long will the deleted file exist you ask? until some other file or some other data is overwritten on that deleted file it still exists so whenever some other file or some other data is uh, written in the same memory location as that of the deleted file uh, the deleted file will then permanently get removed but until then the file still exists on your computer so yes it is absolutely possible to recover deleted files from your computer using data recovery software among which EasyUS is the best according to me. EasyUS is an international leading company which has uh, made many useful softwares for your computer. For example, like the data recovery wizard that we're talking about and then the partition manager and then the backup and restore tool and then the file transfer tool and many other useful softwares that you can uh, download and use for your computer. But in this video, we'll be talking about this EasyUS data recovery wizard to recover deleted files from our computer. Well, anyways, I will leave a link in the description to download this EasyUS data recovery wizard. And please note that this EasyUS data recovery wizard is available for Windows, for Mac, for Android, and also for iOS. So whichever platform you're using, you will still be able to use this EasyUS data recovery wizard to recover your deleted files. Maybe. You might be using a Windows computer or a Mac or an Android or iOS. You will still be able to recover the deleted files with EasyUS Data Recovery Wizard. So go check out the link in the description and download the EasyUS Data Recovery Wizard from the official EasyUS website. So without further ado, let me show you how to recover deleted files with EasyUS Data Recovery Wizard. All right, so this is the official website of EaseUS and from here you can download the data recovery software for whatever platform you're using. You can download it for Windows, Mac, iOS and also for Android. So in this video, since I'm using the Windows PC, I'll be downloading the Windows version and you can download the free version of the software and and please note that if you're using the free version of this software, you will only be able to recover the deleted files up to 500 MB. But if you want to recover deleted files which are more than 500 MB, then you will have to purchase the software. But anyways, for now, you can use the free version. So once you download and install the software, just open it and this is how it's going to look like if you're using the Windows version. But if you're using a Mac version, then it's going to be looking a little bit different. But don't worry, it's the same software. Alright, so this is the first window that you will see and over here in this window you will see all the partitions that are available on your computer. So all that you need to do is to select one partition where you want to recover the deleted files. Before selecting the drive, let me actually delete a sample video file from my computer to see if I can actually get back or recover the deleted sample video file. So the sample video file is this thing over here, it's located in... Uh, in local disk f as you could see so this is some sample video file that i have uh, that i have so i'm going to delete this file uh, and i'm going to see if i will be able to recover it after i delete it permanently from my computer and as you could see here it is in the f drive 
all right so uh, let me delete it i'm holding shift delete and there we go are you sure you want to permanently delete this file so i'm going to type on or i'm going to click on yes and there we go the file is now gone and uh, since I permanently deleted it, it doesn't even exist in the recycling bill. So now let's start the recovery process. So as you could see, the file existed on the F drive. So I'm going to select the F drive. So just select F drive and click on scan. And uh, there you go. It says it says a quick scan completed and it says it has found 1254 files and uh, here as you could see it's also executing a deep scan so anyway since the quick scan is completed let's actually go ahead and see if our video file is in there so i think this is the video file that we are looking for right mbi2442 is that the file anyways if you want to recover the file you just click on that and select recover uh, for example i'll be saying the file in a uh, new volume g for example and I'm going to click on OK or I'm going to make a new folder which says recovered uh, files. OK, so I'm going to recover it there. And there we go. Here is a lovely progress bar which shows us that uh, the file is being recovered. So let's just wait. It seems like our file has been recovered. So let me go to the to the directory where the recovered file is saved so this is the recovered file and it says recovered data followed by the date today's date let me open it and there we go that's the file that we have deleted and let me open it and there we go that is the recovered deleted video file and we have successfully recovered it using the EasyOS data recovery wizard so that is how simple it is to recover deleted file on your computer but anyways, even after performing a quick scan, if the deleted file doesn't exist or it doesn't come up in this list over here, you can wait until this deep scan is done. This deep scan may take a little bit more time, but it is more efficient in recovering the deleted file. So if in case your file did not come up when you have performed the quick scan, just wait until the deep scan is done and most probably the deleted file will come up there and after it comes up there, you can recover it by simply selecting it and then clicking on recover and then you can choose the directory where you want the recovered file to be saved and so in the same way you can recover image files video files or whatever files may be by using data recovery wizard easy US data recovery wizard and before ending this video i would like to announce this very interesting thing easy US is celebrating their 14th anniversary and as a part of this they're organizing a contest wherein you can create a video or make a video about one of their products and then upload it to a YouTube channel and you can stand a chance to win an iPhone 8 or $500. So if you want to give it a try, I will leave the link to that contest in the description below so you can check it out. Maybe you can win an iPhone 8, I don't know. But if you guys are interested and if you want to give it a try, I will leave the link in the description below. Check the link in the description below and you can join that contest. So guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up below. And if you have any doubts regarding this video, feel free to use the comment section below. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet subscribed. And share my videos with your friends, colleagues and other people you know. And you can help me in growing faster, I guess. So thanks for watching once again. Cheers.